another Ramadan is refreshed by Coca-Cola and nourished by Checkers Custard. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah Muhammad ibn Abdullah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man sara ala nahjihi ila yawmiddin In the name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful All praises and thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that has given us a new day May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon our noble messenger Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam I remain your beloved brother Muhammad Saeed and of course I don't roll alone, my sister Sophia Salahuddin Sofitullah. How are you? Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Um, beloved brothers and sisters uh, at home, of course, as you know, you know the drill. We have scholar in the building. Uh, before we introduce our scholar in the building to you, we will go on a short break and when we return, we'll present to you our scholar and we'll discuss a very exciting topic. Stay tuned, don't go anywhere. <laughs> In Ramadan, we are all connected. We all have the same empathy towards one another. We all feel the same rush to catch the moment of iftar and walk into the same special home-cooked meals. Every Ramadan, we are one when we fast, but not always when we break fast. This Ramadan, let's break fast together. Coca-Cola, real wonder. Enjoy the delicious creamy goodness of cowbell with Vitarich and vitamin B9 which supports brain development. Cowbell, so creamy, so good. Welcome back. This is still the talk segment of another Ramadan television series. We're about to talk about um, a new topic. I think this topic is all, I don't think it's meant for me. I don't think I'm up to tax, am I? Am I up to Zaka? Uh, well, you never know. It might be any millions, billions. Any millions? <laughs> I'm a student. Yeah. All right, so the topic for today is zakat that's islamic taxation how is it done how do you know if you're up to zakat how do you know if you can pay zakat although anybody can do so right right anybody can so do so sure so do that for us is one of our stars and we and our stars our sheikh in the building uh is no other than our beloved uh, uh imam abdullah ali jabata uh, here in the building. Salaam alaikum to love Katia Sheikh. It's good to have you back again. Yeah, well. Now, khairan. Um, yeah, Sheikh, the welfareism of the Muslim is one that Allah has put injunction to it in the Quran, many places in the Quran where you have salat, you have the cat, and of course, uh, explanation of which is mentioned in Surah Al-Tawbah and many places in Surah Al-Baqarah. Ya yeah, Sheikh, Zakat. What is Zakat? And what are the fundamentals of Zakat? Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sallam wa ala. Zakat is one of the oblig obligatory pillars of Islam. It's an obligation, hmm. but upon certain conditions. It means giving out parts of your certain properties, certain possessions, not all possessions. Just some parts. classes of possession. 
But let me explain. Yes, please. Now, an individual could have gold as a possession. Mm -hmm. It could have silver as a possession. It could have currencies, notes, eh? local currencies, foreign currencies. Eh? Those are possessions. Yeah. Sure. This same individual could also have a car mm -hmm. that is riding. It could have a house where it's living. He could have machineries in his factories with which he produces, he produce, eh? he produces his things. All these things I've mentioned is only a class of what I've mentioned that zakat could be taken out from. Mm. You know, if you divide zakat as being taking something out of your possessions, not all your possessions, all your possessions. it's just like you talk about tax. You say, okay, this income is taxable income. Yes. This is not non taxable, taxable income. income. Okay. So now, if somebody is having a building where he's living, even if the building costs more than one billion, which and is it's living which inside is, it, which is above the which Nisab. is above even the minimum money for zakat that we call nisab, there's no zakat on it. Wow. Ah, uh, hmm. you know, you don't say ah. Uh, how could somebody with a, a house that is valued more than one billion? Once that house is where he lives, it's living there. There's no zakat. There's no zakat on it. So wow. if you have uh, cars. That you are using for your own personal purposes. It could be one, two, three, four. Once they are your for your personal use, no matter their values. They are possessions that are not zakatable. Possessions that are not zakatable. Interesting. Look at that. Also, in your factory, you have machines that are worth more than millions of naira. Once those machines are being used for production. Uh, you don't value those machines to know your worth, whether you are qualified for zakat or not. not. Mm -hmm. You only pay zakat on what you produce, what you produce with those machines. Those machines. Mm -hmm. this, this analysis, it. if it is correct, what does it? What's, what hint does it give us? The hint is Allah is not after our valuable possessions to mm -hmm. get money out of it for the poor ones. Mm. Allah respects the rich. Mm. Allah gives the rich a, 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 a allowance to enjoy his money. Allah does not target what the rich use to show his status over those who are not so rich. Eh? Allah does not target it. So what are those things that what zakat could be given out for? Okay. Is it okay? Now, I've talked talk about exemptions now. Zakat, the classes of possessions that zakat could be given out from are zakat will ayn, first. Thing. The one that has to do with money. Let's see. And in this class, we have gold and silver too, because they used to be money. Yeah. Yeah, they used to have to so serve the same functions. Yeah. Now, money we use it as store of value. Huh? Yeah. Then, and we use it at what means of exchange. exchange. In the olden time too, in the latter of the solar, the kinds, uh, gold and silver were oh, also used for that. So they are in the same class. Okay. Please, can you uh, follow it? Sir. So that's yeah. the first class. The second class is uh, agricultural produce. Your family land, and not all things that you plant that are mainly for food that people rely on and can be measured. What do I mean? Mm. If somebody plants vegetables, no matter the value, there is no zakat on vegetables. Mm? But there is zakat on grains that it has to be, because it means too that even among the fruit, the farm produce too, Allah does not target everything. He targets the ones that the poor are also in need of. In all the classes of the possessions, where the cat could be given it out to, it has to get to a certain amount, which you call nisab. Mm -hmm. So that's the second class. I've talked about gold, silver, and money. I've talked about farm, farm produce. produce. The third one is livestock. Livestock. 
and it's not also all livestock. <laughs> you talk about camel, you talk about cow, you talk about uh, goats and its class. Ram. Ram, they're in the same class. You don't talk about horses. About chicken, turkey, guinea fowl. Primarily, there could be zakat in those things in the money they generate, they generate. but not, not in their own, in, okay. the, in their self, hmm. themselves, money they generate. So we have three classes of your possessions, which are primary property and possessions that Zaka could be given out for. For money, for Gold, grain, liver, then, then farm produce, livestock. then livestock. livestock. Those are the three main possessions. Okay, uh, uh, thank you very much, yeah, Imam. Um, now that we have been able to identify the classes of zakatable possessions, how do we measure the nisab? Now, what is nisab? Nisab means an amount that your money must reach before zakat could be an obligation on you. Mm. That is what we call nisab. For gold, a sliver and money. And we have talked about this nisob. Mm. For farm produce, the grain. That's nisob. For and livestock, livestock there's a different nisob for each and every class. Not the same, but Not different. Same. Mm -hmm. okay. So for money, which most people, which is applicable to most people who yes. are interested in having the correct information on this, good and sliver and monies are combined together. In fact, it is the good as liver that have made the standard for money. For money. What do you do? How does it how is it calculated? You see, for gold, gold, the unit for gold, I mean gold as a metal. Yeah. Huh? Gold as a as metal. As a metal, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then sliver as a metal. Yeah. Gold as a means of exchange. Sliver as a means of exchange. Eh? The unit for good is called dinar. Dinar. No. That is why you see up to now, even in some countries, they still use dinar. dinar. No. You say the Kuwait dinar, no. uh, the Iraqi dinar. dinar. Uh -huh. You understand? So it, it's a unit of good. Hmm? For sliver, its own unit is dirham. Dirham. Okay. Up to now, they still use it. Yeah, yes. Exactly. So, yeah, in yeah. UAE, they say dirham. Dirham. So there's your currency. I yes. thought it's just currency. Uh, well, you know, it has its historical root yeah. in the fact that gold and sliver were used as means of exchange. They just transferred the name to the currency. Okay. So, now for good, according to the hadith from the Prophet, mm -hmm. you don't take out zakat from gold and essentially, invariably, on what on Neranos too, you understand? Except the gold gets to twenty dinar. Hmm. It's twenty dinar mm -hmm. for gold. That if you have twenty dinar and above, then it means you could be preparing to pay zakat based on some other conditions too, which we'll mention. That the baseline for gold is. 20 dinar. For sliver, you have 200 dirham. dirham. 200 mm. dirham of silver. Sliver. Okay. Eh? 20 dinar of, of gold. gold. But please don't make the mistake. It's not the same to say that, okay, by the time you convert 20 dirham of sliver, it will not be equal to 20 dinar yeah, for gold. gold. No. Mm. They're not the same. They They're are not really independent, independent monies as mm. far as Zaka is concerned. Mm. Uh, Sheikh, uh, uh, you've said a lot. Thank you very much. Uh, would like to go on a quick break, and when we return, uh, we'll continue. Please stay tuned, don't go anywhere. In Ramadan, we are all connected, we all have the same empathy towards one another. We all feel the same rush to catch the moment of iftar and walk into the same special home-cooked meals. Every Ramadan, we are one when we fast 
but not always when we break fast. This Ramadan, let's break fast together. Coca-Cola, real wonder. Enjoy the delicious creamy goodness of cowbells with Vitarich and vitamin B9 which supports brain development. Cowbell, so creamy, so good. Welcome back. It's still the talk segment of another Ramadan television series. We've been talking about it, so we've been talking about zakat and all that. It's been an interesting sec section, and let's continue. Stars, you've been saying zakat, how it is measured, and all that. Who are those that receive this zakat? No, alhamdulillah. Those who receive the zakat are mentioned in Quran, so to Tawbah. Allah mentioned eight categories of people. Eight categories of people. But quickly, are we saying that if somebody is having that money with which he wants to give a zakat, he should give all these eight before it will be said to have fulfilled the condition the of this ayah? Or he could just give only one of those eight set of people mentioned. There's the difference of opinion among the scholars. But let's take the opinion of Imam Malik. Once you give any one of those mentioned, you are You've okay. completed your second. Yes. Shafi, pick the other one. But let's pick that of Malik. Huh? What, who are these eight categories of people mentioned? Allah mentioned in Namah Sada, or to Lil Fuqara. Your zakat should be given to Al Fuqara, the poor. Hmm? First category. Al Masakin, the needy. Al Masakin. Those who are charged with collecting the funds of zakat. Hmm? People that, working on the collection of zakat. They too collect. Yes, they are also entitled. Allah mentioned about eight people. Allah mentioned, of his you could give zakat for those who are in the jihad. The part of Allah, you can give Wabna Sabil, somebody who is a wayfarer. Eh? Allah mentioned, well, God, mean those who are in debt, hmm. who are indebted. Mm -hmm. Allah mentioned those who are powerful in the society who will think could be attracted to our cause if we give them zakat or be attracted to our cause if we give them zakat or who will think will be protected from their harm if they are giving zakat hmm. do you understand what I've just Absolutely. said yeah, yeah. so that is mm -hmm. Allah they could be rich mm -hmm. but they could be rich we are using them for a purpose. That these people, if you give them money, though they might not be with them, they might not be Muslims. Hmm? If you give them, we could endear them to our cause. They might be Muslims, they might not be Muslim, but they are powerful. We want them to be attracted to our cause, or we feel that if they are giving part of zakat, we could be protected from the harm that could emanate from them. That's another class. Another class is what you recall. Zakat could be using to set free slaves or people who are in captivity. Uh, so Allah mentioned all these eight. You see all these eight that I mentioned, they can be broadly categorized into two. True. Some people are giving zakat because of their personal needs, while some are being given because of the benefit that we derive from their actions or inactions. Jazakumullah uh, khairan to our revered uh, Sheikh. Thank you very much for being here with us. We really appreciate you. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase you in knowledge. Assalamu alaikum and uh, save you for us for many years. Uh, we have been speaking with Sheikh Al Imam Abdullahi Ali Jabata, uh, the Imam of uh, Masjid Ahl Sunnah. Parafa Tikurudu here in Lagos. Uh, it has been a wonderful session with him. If you would like to catch up on our previous episode, uh, you can give us a subscribe on YouTube channel at Another Ramadan T.
TV and give us a follow on Instagram at another rather than TV series. On behalf of myself and the entire crew in the studio, we give you the greeting of peace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Salamu alaikum musulmin duniya baki daya lokacin sahur ko bude baki ku kasance tare da chakas custard domin chakas custard ya dace da masu yin azumi ramadan mubarak masu yana Bashir Abdurrahim. My name is Taufika from University of Lagos. My name is Toyib. I'm a student of mechanical engineering in 500 level. And I'm the um, Amir of Muslim Student Society of Nigeria, University of Lagos branch. Uh, I'm Professor Ismail Musa, the chief imam of uh, Unilag Mosque. Thank you for having us again this year. We appreciate what you did last year. And we are so elected, we are so excited to have you this time around. So I would like you to say something. Say Ramadan like it turns to star. Say Ramadan ten times. Ramadan, Ramadan, Ramadan. Without at least being a you guys. Ramadan, 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 Ramadan. Another Ramadan. Ramadan, 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 so, sir, please, can you say it, Ashaud? Yes, um, Ashaud wa la ilaha illallah wa ahlahu wa shaykala wa shahadu wa anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasul. Amin. Okay. What do you say to terminate your solar? Kula la wada la asmada menditu la menditu la mekula kufana. Kula la wada la kemishya merka. Wa mishya di kazi ni zasada. Allah dhu sudi. To terminate your solar, what do you say? To terminate your solar. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa sallam alaikum. You say you're Tesli, mashallah, yeah, yeah. What do you say to terminate your salat? <laughs> to end your salat, what do you say? What do you say to end your salat? You know, assalamu alaikum. So from an Anaharadan TV series, we have a gift for you. Check us, Kostad. Tends the light on the dumps We connect with the Quran Do not even not speak in love Your brothers and sisters We buy one for God's and sunnah The month the only Quran was revealed Is yet again Another Ramadan I see Ramadan ten times Very fast Ramadan, 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 Ramadan Ramadan Kareem Ramadan, 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 Ramad
Ramadan, 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 Jazakumullah khairan. I say thank you to all the sponsors. May Allah continue to bless them. What do you say to them? Um, Jazakumullah khairan. Um, thank you very much for giving us this for Ramadan. Um, may Allah provide um, more for for for, for checkers. Jazakumullah khairan. I mean, thank you. Thank you, another Ramadan TV. Check us. May Allah reward them abundantly. Inshallah, I'm going to use it to break my fast today. So I pray for the blessing of Allah over their product. Salam alaikum. Muslim Nunduni Abaki there. Look at Chinsahur, Kobu Abaki, Ukasan Chetarada. Check us costard. Do you check us costard? Ya da che da masin azmi. Ramadan Mubarak masuyana. Uh, we all know that when it comes to Ramadan, mankind can be divided into four or three. Those that we were all expecting that the month was going to come, but they were not fortunate to witness it. Those that were all expectant of it, they witnessed it, but by now they, are, they have answered the call of their Lord. And those of us that we are still observing it, those that will finish the month, but that will be their own last. And then the fault will be those who will still observe another, 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 and for many years to come. We all pray that we'll be among those uh, last group. But even for all of us, at a point in time, we also fall within the category of the other last three. So if you have the opportunity now, let us seize the opportunity, particularly the last 10 days, where we have been told that if you are fortunate to witness that night of majesty, the Laila to the Kodil, that is last if you have done a good thing for a three years and about six or four months. So let us make the best use of it. So my advice for them, for the last 10 Ramadan, they should not say that Ramadan is going, but they should maximize the, this last 10 of Ramadan by moving closer to Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. So moving closer in the sense that by going to where they are going to develop spiritually with good uh, lecture. Ramadan is a once in a year opportunity to like garner rewards and um, change your destiny. So you just as I said, like, you have your priorities, you set a time for everything. You can't have an exam and at the same time, giving more priority to doing your ibadah. So you can just, as I said, section it, create time for this, create time for the other one, and you follow your plan. And, and I'm sure that you, you maximize your output by that way. The right thing for every Muslim is to get even closer to Allah within the last ten, Because Allah has more to offer us through the search for Dailatul Qadri, which Allah has described as being better than even 1,000 months. So, we cannot joke with it. Our youths, uh, you abandon uh, various uh, acts of, uh, uh, you know, playing and uh, whiling away the time. Now devote yourself to the remembrance of Allah, to recitation of the Quran, to making adhkar, to communicating with your creator in these last 10 days. So this is a shout out to another Ramadan, t another Ramadan TV series. So I'm saying a big Tadakumullah Khairan for this gift and I pray Allah um, bless us in this month of Ramadan and grant us the word dearly. Ramadan I pray to Almighty Allah to continue to bless this program, to continue to bless this organization, so that you will even be able to do more for the Ummah and for humanity. Rabbana zolamna anfusana wa ilam takfirlana wa tarhamna lana kudana mina kawasirin. Allahumma takobbali salatana. Allahumma takobbali siyamana. Allahumma inna ka afuun karimun 
tuhibu li afu 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 anna. Rabbana zidna ilma nafiha. Warizukuna rizku na lala tojiba. Allahumma wali umura na khiyarana. Wala tu wali umura na shiyarana. Birahmatika ya rahma rahimi. Wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sabi ajma'in. Subhana rabbika rabbila inzati ama yasifun. Assalamu ala al-mursaleen. Wa alhamdulillahi rabbila alamin. Amin. Azakum ala karasa. Another Ramadan is refreshed by Coca-Cola and nourished by Chekas Custard. The holy month is here again, praising Allah day. From dawn to dusk we fast and pray, we chide and woo to change. Bring out the lanterns, the light of Love your brothers and